What are you looking for, that stockade area? I guess, I don't know. What do they got us there? Well, the old fort is over here. And uh, in 1895, the Spanish-American War, they built additional officers' quarters and troops' quarters. And then in uh, World War I, they used it as a post. What's the part that George made notorious? That was the stockade? Yeah, that's it right over here. She's gonna get a little sticky here. I should have brought my boots. When Jeff Perez initiated the idea of having a, to solve the problem, what to do with the, uh, five or six hundred demonstrators if they come down in a small community of maybe a thousand, two thousand people. So this uh, stockade was built. We'll walk up to, uh, to the area. This would have been the compound area. It was wired off here and fenced off and you could see the posts with the lights. Former called it a medieval fort. Who called it that? The Dr. Farmer with the core group. Oh, Congress and racial equality, that people? Yeah. Uh -huh. This is where uh, people would be housed, you see. Judge, tell me something about the living quarters down here. You mean in this compound? Yes, sir. Well, first, this uh, eight-foot hall is 170 feet long. We have four compartments, 30 feet squared. We have four other compartments, 15 by 30. We have the lower end blocked off for juveniles, and uh, this three-quarter section of uh, this part of the fortress will be used for adult violators. How many... Uh people do you think you could accommodate in here? How many could you incarcerate? Well, now that depends on how many people come into Plaquemine Parish to uh, try and break down our local government and uh, cause trouble. Uh, there's no limit in number. If they choose to come in tens and twenties, we'll take care of them. What if about they the... choose to come in hundreds, we'll pack them in here. Just the same. Uh, as you might recall, there was a tremendous amount of violence in the civil rights uh, activities and movements uh, throughout the country, not only in just the South. Uh, hopefully that's always avoided, but sometimes it can't be. We tried to avoid it here. This was one of the deterring factors. Whether it had any effect on it or not, I don't know. Uh, the fact is that it was here and it was well publicized. Uh, it was not his intent, uh, because I was with him in his early 60s, of causing anybody harm physically. Uh, but uh, I think he, his intention, and it was the intention of the public officials at that time, to simply discourage anybody from causing any violence. Uh, this is, uh, uh, I think, best described in the words of Toulouse-Lautrec as, uh, as fossils of a bygone age. And uh, let's hope they still remain that way. And there are, in my opinion, easier ways to settle differences, but at that time, this was one of them.